All right, um, here's another system of linear equations in two variables. And um, let me actually call this equation one over here, and this equation two, okay? Equation one and equation two. So, <clears throat> I'm going to use the elimination method for this one to show you how to use it. And actually, this is my favorite method, especially if both of the equations are in standard form like this. My x's are lined up, my y's are lined up, my equals are lined up, and my constants are lined up. That's the situation you want for the elimination method. And the elimination method is sometimes the fastest method. Now, I do have to create a situation that will allow me to eliminate. So I have to do some manipulation. Now, I choose a variable to eliminate. You could choose either one. Um, in this case, let's just choose x. I'm going to eliminate x. Eliminate x. That means that the coefficient in front of x has to be the same number but opposite signs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take equation 1 and multiply it by negative 2. I'll show it over there. Okay, so now equation 1 is going to become negative 6x plus 8y is equal to negative 22. And equation 2, um, let me get, put it in green. Here, equation 2, I need to create a positive 6 in front of x, so I'm going to multiply it by 3. Okay, so I have 6x plus 9y is equal to negative 12. So once I have... Um, them lined up like this, and I have the same number in front of each variable, or the variable that I'm you know, choosing to eliminate, the same number but opposite signs, now I can add, this is why this is also called the addition method, add the two equations together. And when I'm adding two numbers that are the same but opposite, they go to zero. I eliminate x. Negative 6x plus 6x is zero. Add up my, um, my y, 17y is equal to negative 22 minus 12 is negative 34. And now this is an easy equation of one variable. y is equal to negative 34 divided by 17, negative 2. Um, I'm able to solve for y. So this is a uh, consistent, independent system that has one solution, which is a x and y point, right? And I do not know the x coordinate, but I do know y is negative 2, but not a problem because once I know y, x is easy to find. Um, and now I can use either equation to find x. Let's just use equation 1. 3x minus 4 times y, which is negative 2, is equal to 11. And now I can solve for x is equal to 11. Subtract 8 from both sides. Uh, 3x is equal to 3, so x is equal to 1. So now I have my solution, which is the ordered pair, 1, negative 2. Now, how do I know that the solution is correct? I have to plug this number in to both, or plug this point in, to both equations, and I should get true statements for both of them. Otherwise, this is not my solution. It has to work for both. I can kind of look at it and see. 3 plus 8 is 11. That works. 2, um, two minus 6 is negative 4, so that works. This is my solution. Now, I just want to do one of these situations because fractions make everyone uncomfortable. Um, and obviously, it's not in your standard form to begin with. So you have to manipulate. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my first equation and clear out my fractions. So I'm going to multiply equation 1 by the common denominator of every fraction in it. So the common denominator in here would be 6. So everything in equation 1 is equation Everything in equation 1 gets multiplied by 6. So 6 times x over 6 is x, minus 6 times 1 half y is 3y, is equal to 6 times 1 third, which is 2. And then I'm not going to touch equation 2 yet. x plus 2y is negative 3. So now at least they're both nicely um, represented without fractions. And they're already in line for me. x's are lined up, y's are lined up, equals, and then constant. So that works. The only thing that I need to do, though, is you know first decide which variable I'm going to eliminate. And obviously, x would be the easiest because I already have the coefficients in front of them the same. I just need opposite numbers. So I'm going to multiply everything here by negative 1, which changes all those signs. 
Um, and then now when I add the two equations together, x minus x is 0, that goes. Negative 3y minus 2y is negative 5y. 2 plus 3 is 5. This now simplifies to an equation of one variable, and I get negative 1 for y. Once I know y, x is easy to find. I'll use equation 2 to find it. x plus 2 times y, which is negative 1, is equal to negative 3 x minus 2 is negative 3. Add 2 to both sides. x is negative 1. So my single solution in this case is negative 1, negative 1. One solution, consistent independent system.